Raging wildfires continued to burn through Southern California on Sunday, stretching into a second week as authorities warned that the blazes could still spread and pose new dangers. The fires have been blamed for one death, and the flames have destroyed more than 800 buildings and threatened thousands more. Officials have stressed that the weather could trigger still more hazards. Much of Los Angeles and Ventura counties were under red flag warnings of increased fire risk through Sunday evening as the winds that fanned the flames were expected to strengthen. Any new blaze could see a very rapid spread of wildfire. An extreme fire behavior that could lead to a threat to life and property, the National Weather Service warned. Officials lamented a brutal fire season that has ravaged the state this year, tearing mercilessly through the northern and southern parts of California alike. This is kind of the new normal, Gov. Jerry Brown, D., said at a news conference Saturday in Ventura County. We're facing a new reality in this state, where fires threaten people's lives, their property, their neighborhoods and, of course, billions and billions of dollars. Brown said climate change means residents should expect such extreme fire activity for decades. I know that's maybe a little remote, but it's real, and we're experiencing what it's going to look like on a very regular basis, he said. New evacuations orders were issued Sunday as the Thomas Fire, the state's biggest active blaze, roaring across 155,000 acres in a coastal region northwest of Los Angeles, burning through Ventura County was expected to spread toward neighboring Santa Barbara County, authorities warned in an alert Sunday morning. While officials had lifted evacuation orders in Ventura, south of the fire, residents of enclaves in Santa Barbara were urged to leave. People in parts of the county, including the city of Carpinteria, need to be prepared to leave in a moment's notice, the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office warned, urging residents to gather relatives, pets and anything irreplaceable. The Thomas Fire has moved quickly since erupting last Monday in Ventura County, officials said, and has destroyed more than 500 structures and threatened 15,000. By Sunday morning, it was just 15% contained. Medical examiners in Ventura reported the only fire-related death known so far, identifying a body found Wednesday as that of Virginia Pesola, 70, of Santa Paula. Pesola died of blunt force injuries with terminal smoke inhalation and thermal injuries, officials said. The destroyed buildings included housing for low-income families who have few other options. Ventura County Supervisor Steve Bennett, speaking during a town hall that drew hundreds of people Saturday, said the board is planning to unveil a rental assistance plan to help those in need. There are a number of low-income people who have been burned out, Bennett said. Many of us are going to have to open up our homes. There are 4,000 firefighters trying to contain the blaze, and authorities said the firefighting costs have reached nearly $17.5 million. Some positive signs were reported in Los Angeles County to the south, as officials said Saturday that the Creek and Skirball fires were 80% and 50% contained, respectively.